Okay, who is ready for some ridiculous, ridiculous fun today? I am here, excited <laughs> for so much foam head fun. I have collected, oh, I don't even have the chat up. Where's comments? Okay. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay, first and foremost. Just make sure I'm not like yabbering away and no one can actually even hear what I'm saying. Let me know where you're tuning in from and if you are going to be participating with me or are you just going to be watching? <laughs> and there's no wrong answer. It's all good. Hi. Awesome. I see Ellen Goodman. You are number one. Hi, Ellen. Linda. Hi. Jeanette is here. Sandy. Jennifer. Vicky. Okay. Wonderful. You can hear me. Yay. 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 You guys, I am so ex I'm really excited for today. Hi, Yvette. Oh, good. Uh, Jennifer Ann from Pennsylvania. I was born in Pennsylvania. Fun facts. Um, awesome. Norma's coming from Texas. I know that's where Linda's coming from, too. Bianca's joining from the Netherlands. Oh, nice evening foam head project for you there. This would be really good with a glass of wine. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I am not going to lie. Um, awesome. I am also very, very excited. Okay. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. Well, I think that this is going to be pretty, pretty entertaining today. There's nothing not entertaining about a foam head. It's pure, pure ridiculousness, like pure. And that's why I'm so excited because like as adults, how often is it that we get to just be ridiculous? Like not that often. Life is always serious and bleh, all the time. So this for me personally is such a fun excuse to like just do something stupid because it's fun, period. You know what I mean? All right. So who is with me? Who is ready to have some fun today? Let me know in the comments. Yes, Linda. Amen, sister. They are so much freaking fun. They really are. And have some really fun. Hi, Sierra. We love your name from Saskatchewan, Canada. I could just say that all day long. Saskatchewan, Canada. Always, always good to see you guys. Hello. Okay, Cheryl's here. She says, so the party can start. Hey, Cheryl. Marla, Lena, Chris. Awesome. Joe, uh, Jonah is ready from, from, from Missouri. I can't talk. So that's just my bad. All right. I'm just going to jump in and I have my eye on the chat the whole time. As we get really diving in, obviously I will have a, uh, I will be more limited in how I can respond because I'm going to be actually busy, but I'm going to do my best to just keep my eye on, on the comments the whole time. Um, addicted to create. I know they are right. Oh yeah. Lena, I've seen a bunch of yours. They're super fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some examples <laughs> to inspire you because there's all, so many possibilities, honestly. And I'm sure I've only just like barely broached the surface. And then I'm going to begin. I actually have two. I'm, I probably only can do one at a time, but I have two to choose from. So you guys let me know in the comments like what you think. Well, I'll have you vote on which one I should do. Linda says, I can't wait to see your pimped out foam head. I know. Oh, no. I lost my last. Oh, there it is. For some reason, I, I always get really hot when I go live. Like, so hot. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm always, like, sweating. Um. Oh, good. Oh, good. Kim is very surprised. Happily surprised that it's in the afternoon. Or not, not late. Good. Okay. So, first of all, just so you know, there's a few different styles of foam heads that you can buy. And I think I've decorated all four different ones, not on purpose, just kind of ended up that way, which is actually really fun because you can see kind of what the different faces look like, depending on the foam head that you have. Let me get these two. And I have to apologize. I'm going to be moving around a lot today because there's a lot of my, yeah, I actually didn't really know what I was going to do. So I, I might have to jump up and grab paint and whatnot. So just forgive me. Um... Oh, I am so excited to see you, Ellen. You guys are my favorite people in the whole world. There's nothing I would rather do than be spending my Sunday with you. Um, this is super funny. I just have to tell you a story really quickly. So uh, last week, I, I actually already had foam heads, but I was like, ooh, I had this style. 
And look at her nose. It's like perfectly dented <laughs> just at the tip. It's like wonk at the end. So this is an example of one that I've done. I don't know what's better if you see it this way. It's probably better like this. I'm gonna keep it on my table. So this is one, <laughs> she's so ridiculous, that I've done in the past. And she is, I'll do, I'll share her on this screen. She is this version. So I just wanna show these because I'm sure everyone has like different versions of home foam heads. So what I think is cool about this particular foam head is that um, these have the most realistic features. So you can see like her actual lower and upper eyelid. None of the other, none of the other forms kind of have this much detail. It actually like etched into the foam. And she also has ears, which none of the other ones have either. But if you don't, if you don't have this one, don't be sad. I just want you to be aware. And the link, I sent everyone a link or I posted the link to these. And that was the one that I posted because I thought, I think that's kind of cool. Um, and this is the one, this is how it looks like if you give her like, quote unquote, realistic eyes. So it's almost creepy how realistic it is. So I'll just talk about the head options first. And then I'll talk about the lay. I'm going to cover everything. So just kind of one thing at a time. Um, so if you have questions, just bear with me because I might cover them as I as I talk. Um, so she definitely has the most realistic anatomy features. Oh, and if you have a question like supplies or anything like a burning question, please, please, please put it all in all caps for me. Big, shouty, obnoxious caps so that I don't miss it. Oh, okay. and then like this one, she kind of has like upper, like a ridge here. Her face got smooshed. And this is super, this was a funny story I wanted to tell you. I ordered this on, what time was that? It was like 11 a.m., on Thursday and I was like okay I'm because I wanted to have a few different options <laughs> and I thought she was gonna come you know like prime today so like Saturday so I went out to get the mail like a few minutes uh like a couple hours later and there was this bag on my porch and I was like what the hell is that I picked it up it weighed nothing it was my foam hat came in two hours you guys and I was like is there like a storage facility for foam heads nearby that I'm unaware of like what this is the fastest I've ever gotten anything from Amazon in my whole life. And it's the foam head. Like, so funny. But the, it came in no, like, protective packaging at all. It was just in, like, a loose plastic bag. So, yeah, she got a little squished. But I'm shocked she's not, like, completely, like, concussed with all sorts of damage. Like, she really has really minor damage. Considering, like, I got her in two hours with zero. She wasn't even in a box. It was super funny. Yeah, drone drop, right? And yes, I agree. Foam heads do really make for great conversation. 100%. They really do. Um, yeah, Linda, I don't know actually if the ears actually make a, a difference because, so these are my readers, because like actually their nose bridges are pretty, are pretty like big enough where, and their heads are really wide enough that you actually don't need the ears, to be honest. So if you have a foam head with no ears and you want to use them for your reader's holders, that's what I'm making, you're good. You're good. You don't need the ears. Um. Okay. So that was kind of, and this is a third style that I have. I don't have any empty ones, but this one has no, um, it doesn't have any like eyelids. It just has like an eye bump out and a very... Like you see her profile, she has like barely a nose and like barely lips. You have to kind of like almost run your finger down to feel it. But she makes an awesome foam head. Her eyes are nice and wide. So it, whatever style you have today, like we can make it work. I promise. So super, super fun. Well, if she won't hold your glasses, Vicky, um, I do have a suggestion that will be coming down, down the road. Um, you can also, I'm surprised. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. My glasses are big enough for all of mine. So I, I'm not sure. But I do have a suggestion that we can work into. Yeah, I have heard that this as well, polymer clay or air dry. Um, I heard those suggestions before. And I do have um, a little bit of a suggestion today that I think I might use for mine. So we'll see. You must have a fat head, Vicky. <laughs> And I saw your comment earlier. You're hilarious. I'm so excited that you're so excited for this project. And the first I need to turn my fan on. I hope I, I told you I get hot when I art. Hold on. All 
right. Oh, I turned my fan on and I turned my AC down two clicks. <laughs> so I would get all red and sweaty. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of like the different style. Oh, and I'll show you the different styles all made up. So I showed you this one, which has the most realistic features. Obviously, like if you don't decoupage a napkin all over her head, she'll have a very different look. And obviously we will be covering that too. And we'll talk about all this stuff, but she has the most realistic features. So here's, she could be a mermaid head. That's what I made her years ago. And here, here she is. Um, here is that one that I just showed you that has kind of very subtle facial features, I guess is the best word for it. Just very barely bump outs for the eyes, nose and mouth. I have four separate kinds here. And then this one, um, is that different? Oh, see these, even these are different. See, their necks are longer, but they have kind of similar like head tilt action. <laughs> and, and then this one I think is fun because I have her kind of looking off to the side. So we, we have to keep that in mind too, as a fun way to mix things up as they don't have to always be looking straight at you. They could be looking off to the side, which is, I think, super cute. So she's kind of doing that cute little moochie face. So even though she has full lips, I only painted that part. So it makes, she, makes it look like she's making a little smoochy face. Um, she also has, I uh, used sparkle Mod Podge on her. So I did bust that out today too. Oh, I also did it on her. I can see her sparkles as well. <laughs> so Mod Podge makes, you know, all their range of matte, glossy, etc. But they also have a glitter and they have a sparkle. I highly suggest uh, both of them actually. So fun. So I have my sparkle Mod Podge in the house today too, in case I'm feeling sparkly. And then last but not least, I did this one um, last October. This is the most recent one that I've done. And, oh, yeah, it's this one. It's the same one that just got mushed by Amazon. Her nose got mushed there, too. But obviously, you can go the creepy crawly route as well. Um, <laughs> there's so many things you can do. And she's the one that I didn't, um, I didn't decoupage first I but however and this is super important I did um coat her entirely with Mod Podge let it dry and then actually the orange is actually spray paint and I know I, if you love spray paint as much as I do because I freaking love spray paint it will eat through certain kinds of foam heads so never spray paint directly onto a foam head trust me but you can spray paint them if you've pre-treated them enough, then it's okay. So if you already know that you are not going to decoupage, not use any collage or tissue paper as your base, and you're just going to paint while I'm chitter chattering about decoupage and tissue paper, you should be coating your whole foam head with Mod Podge or matte medium or gel medium, okay? Because that will prep your surface for painting and help get rid of all the nubbies. Before I go any further, is there any questions on that? It is creepy vehicle. I mean, for Halloween, it was the best. I just pop these in my windows. I put them all in my windows when the ticker cheaters come up. There's like all these weird, crazy foam heads staring at them. Um, okay, so I'm going to be, I am going to use be using a, some napkins today so good foam head collage materials are napkins and tissue paper scrapbook paper anything kind of heavier in those doesn't really work well because it's, it's all rounded and it's really hard to even with those like soft materials it's kind of hard it's it's kind of challenging so to give you examples of the ones i've used before so she i can never decide what camera is better she um is Tim Holtz makes amazing tissue paper. I've had this for like a million years and I've used it for a million projects. It's still going, it's 15 feet of tissue paper. You can buy all of his stuff on Amazon, but it's, it's super soft and that's really like comes in handy because it sucks when it's too hard and you can't do it. Here's another one I also got on Amazon. This is just regular tissue paper. So like tissue paper that you would use for wrapping, perfect. And you can get those in different co colors and whatever and what, what not, um, washi tape. Um, yeah, I guess you 
can use washi tape. You just need to use a lot of it. But yeah, I think that would work. It's not going to stick well, though, at all, because uh, washi tape just doesn't. Um, let me see. Just so happens I have my washi tape right behind me. So let me test it right now. This is also why I got two heads because. So, I mean, we'd you'd have to absolutely like Mod Podge over it to get it all to stick down. It would be kind of cool for hair, for sure. Um, you could have it like going down in strands, I guess. But washi tape just doesn't stick well to anything. So that's why I'm like, mm, let's see. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I don't see why not. You just use a, it would just <laughs> you know, cover a lot. But you can make like a cool design with it for sure. Or you could do like paint it and then make it as be like a headband. So I'm going to say yes to washi tape. Let's do it. Okay. Yes to washi tape. Awesome. Printed jelly paper. Yeah, I think that would be fine. I think so. Because that's that same, um, that's that same, you know, super... It's pretty flexible. And also if, if it's too much, I'll also just rip it into smaller sections. That's oh, I do that no matter what I'm decoupaging. Um, okay, then, okay, so that was the washi tape question. Great question. Yeah, you definitely have to, you will 100% have to put, I would put your washi tape down first and then you would put Mod Podge or matte medium and cover the whole entire thing. And that's no matter what you're using. So we'll, if when I'm going to use, when I'm going to glue mine on, you can be gluing your washi tape on then. Um, yes, you can use a cloth, but I think the drying time would be so excessive for like this project. I don't think we could do that together, Linda. Um, but yes, you could do. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you, yeah, I think you can pause. Um, I also have the replay. The replay is going to be published on YouTube, but also the, this doesn't go anywhere. I just, they just live on, on my Facebook page. So you can always scroll back and find them. This girl is actually, even though I did her years ago, I still have the napkins that I use. I've done so many projects with this napkin. Um, so if you ever, I have another one around here somewhere that I used. So if you ever see, I collect these napkins. So when it's here like Home Goods or like Tuesday morning or Michael's or the grocery store and you find, if you see cool napkins with like full subjects on them, whatever it might, that might be, they are so good for a collage because you can single out, like you can cut out those individual characters, so to speak, and use them in your art projects, um, you know, like this way. So super fun. So I thought it'd be like, well, if she's a mermaid, then I mean, this nap matte napkin is what inspired me to glue it all over her face and make her a mermaid. OK, so it's fun to think outside the box. Um, so you can use um, <laughs> you can use your napkins to inspire you that way. There's also um, this is another option. So that one I did all over her face. Same with this one. She has, it's all over her face back. Like I did the whole entire thing. And the reason I started with this is because I knew I needed a smooth layer for painting. So I was like, I might as well just do the whole entire thing. But then I had done a couple. So sort of getting the hang of it. So this one. <clears throat> Well, I'm going to be using my, um, yeah, no, you could do it, Linda, because I'm going to do mine today in real time. So you absolutely are going to have enough time. Watch me. You just need a hairdryer. So yeah, if you don't have a hairdryer and you're doing this with me today, go grab it because we're going to need it. But yeah, we absolutely are going to do the whole thing today, right now, together. So this is one. I made her into a fairy and I used a napkin, but I just only made it like her hair. And she does have a cool swatch over her eye. You know, I'm just, I was like, I don't know. I was just feeling creative. Like, you don't always have to pre-plan these things. I think I started and my plan was to do her whole head. And then I was like, oh, wait a second. Like, and then I just, <laughs> my weird idea took off and she ended up like this, which is super different. So that's another idea to consider if you're like, you're like, this is annoying. I don't want to do her whole face or it's, I think it's going to look really weird. You definitely don't have to. 
But again, when you're using the like Mod Podge or Matte Medium to adhere this on, you're, we're, we're gonna be coating the whole thing together. Okay, does that make sense? Regardless of how much you are going to use. So let me know in the comments before we begin, are you, yes, Elena, I'm gonna be repub, I'm gonna be editing and re-uploading to my mixed media channel, but also the full, the full um, renditions just live right here on my Facebook page. You can come back to them anytime. So, all right, I'm gonna decide right now, I think which, which one I'm gonna do. And I have so many napkins <laughs> that I've been purchasing and I haven't, I haven't used my napkins in actually so long. You guys let me know. Oh, before I go to, um, I will be more or less following my, this is like my hamburger recipe for doing like my favorite mixed media projects. And I really, I'm going to be following this recipe today. So in case you've ever needed help with mixed media or you want to follow along what we're doing right now, um, this is a free PDF. And I actually already put the link up in the post of this video right now. Um, also, if you're a club member, you guys already have all my cheat sheets already in your, in, as part of your club memberships. Um, so you can go, if you're a club member, any, all clubs, Fun Five Drawing Club, Mixed Media Society, or Celtic Collective, if you log into Awesome Art School and you go to the um, YouTube and Cheat Sheet Library, you have all the cheat sheets there for you. So you can always go back and find those here. Um, oh my God, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm just like, whatever's like hitting me in the heart today is what I'm going to go with. And this one is really zazzy and i feel like that's what i'm in the mood for but ooh, but that i'm just considering all my options let me know you guys is anyone else going to use napkins or is anyone have um thank you very much jeanette for reposting that <clears throat> let me know if you're going to use a napkin and if you have any questions about other materials. This one I love too. I love yellow, red, and blue are like, it's one of my favorite combinations, but I'm not feeling it for a foam head today. I'm kind of feeling this crazy one. <laughs> kind of feeling crazy today. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that one. Okay. Are you using one too? Okay. Oh. Robin says this one looks like it has eyes or a mouth in the shape and the design. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it now. That's so funny. Yeah, it's like super bold. I like it. Okay. So, obviously, all of our colors are going to be different, right? Like, your colors are going to be my color. They're going to be different than my colors. Totally fine. I will tell you exactly how to pick colors that work for yours. Okie dokie. I got one. I buy my napkins anywhere I see them. I don't like go out specifically looking for them, but I have to say I like like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Tuesday morning usually carry the best <laughs> the best variations. Like so I always pick I pick wherever I see a pack anywhere. I just grab them, honestly, if I like it. I'll be like, "Ooh, that would be good." Okay. So, okay, cool. So, um C. Lynn Reed is using napkins, tissues, and maybe paper. Oh, Trisha made it. Yes, for work getting canceled. That's awesome. Oh, good. Jeanette also added these places. Oh, you could totally use colorful tissue paper, Maria. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Um, awesome. Oh, cool. Jane painted hers with ink on a brush after gesso. Yeah, there's no, there's really no way, there's no wrong way to color a foam in. All right. This is the hard, this is the hardest part of our whole project together, to be honest. Ooh, which is separating that. Actually, that just got super easy. That never happens. I just like, lucked. usually it takes me 30 minutes just to get a hold of that second ply. So the first thing you need to do is separate these. Now, a lot of people will then go ahead and like decorate these later. So they'll hold on to these second sheets and you can watercolor them or you can acrylic them or whatever, but you can repurpose these in different ways. 
I, you know, you can blow your nose in them, like whatever you want to do. Okay. And then sometimes there's also another layer. And I don't know if this one does or not. Oh, I think. Mm. And even this one is a little like, it's like the fewer the layers, the better it works. This does feel like a little chunky still. But sometimes that top layer is so thin that you kind of need the bottom layer. I think this might, this might be still two ply, but it might be okay to just keep going anyway. Um, I'm gonna use this girl because her nose is cracking me up because it's literally like, <laughs> like someone just like it right there. I think it's very funny. You feel a little chunky today too, Tracy? <laughs> it's real funny. You can throw anything on anything, Cheryl. Um, okay. Oh, Tracy, White Devil's here. Hello. Are you going to make a foam pad with me today, Tracy? Because that would be super fun. Um, that's so great to see you. Okay, so this is the recipe that I'm going to be using today for this project. Again, this is my hamburger. This is my hamburger method of mixed media. Super easy recipe to follow. All right, so number one, we need our canvas. And our canvas today is our foam head. So check, step one is done. Number two, we're gonna collage. So I have my napkin and we are gonna need something to glue. I'm gonna use Mod Podge, this is cheap and I like how it smells. <laughs> um, you can use Sparkle, you can use regular. I'm gonna be using matte because it takes paint better than glossy. All right, and I like to use a foam brush. Just so happens I have a bucket of foam brushes on my floor. All right, and I usually just doink a whole bunch of that into my bowl. I'm, gonna, I'm about to make a mess, my friends. Oh, I feel like I need to, I'm gonna put my smock on before I go any further. All right, this is my, this is my Egypt smock that I got in Scotland. And for Americans watching, an Egypt is like an old Gaelic word for like dumbass basically. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God. I first heard that word when I was in Australia, I was like 20 and I was traveling, uh, I was like traveling across Australia, like by bus. And I became friends with this guy, Tim Stewart, who was, um, who was Irish. And he'd be like, ah, fucking Egypt. And I was like, wait, what did you just say? And then that was the first time I ever heard Egypt. And he was calling some other tourists like Egypt. And I just thought it was the best word ever. And then fast forward 20 years, I was in Scotland and there was a freaking apron with it on. And I was like, are, are you serious right now? Like, that is mine. That is mine. So it's my dirtiest one of all. But that's what an Egypt is. And it actually has a definition at the top, which says, oh, I actually have to read it because it's, it's really funny. Oh, oh, yes. There's all sorts of like patient ways to get the two ply things separated. I Wiggle it around when it were. All right, in Egypt, it's a dialect of Scott. Idiot it stands for idiot, simpleton, one not possessed of all their mental faculties, one who is unable to properly conduct their own affairs. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. I thought it was perfect. So anyways, just in case there were questions about that. I know, right? I did too. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I bet because you're British. I know you guys have way cooler, way cooler words than we do over here. Okay, so now that I have my Egypt on, I'm gonna um, rip this paper into. It really is the the smaller the chunks, the easier it is to to glue. Just FYI, so more is better than not more. <laughs> So just kind of big shreds, whatever. Strips is kind of nice because you can do like a large area Woo! rather than fat chunks. That makes sense like that. It's 
a little easier. And I think, so if you want to cover the head, that's going to be your choice. So if you want, so to, this is what it looks like. I'm going to make me smaller. I don't know if it's beneficial to see both of these. Let me know if you want me to make a full, um, we can do, oh, I was going to do the other way around. Press shift plus four. How do we do, reverse that? News layout, press shift. Oh. I was trying to make it so that I am small and the foam head is big. Mm, maybe I'm trying to think. I know, Tracy, if you're watching, do you know how I can flip these? Like, I want myself to be small. Solo layout. Remove from the stream. I want to flip these the other way. I don't know if I can. Hmm. All right, well, I'll leave it like this. I wonder. Okay, so if you want it to look the whole face, that's just your design choice. I think I'm just gonna do mine as hair today. And then this is another example where it's all over the face. Like I put that butterfly like over her lips on purpose. And this, I kind of placed the elements like around her kind of on purpose. It's more like the, I wanted the complete fish to show like on her face and then in the back, it's not as like neat, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can't just flip it, Jeanette. There's only like one option. Um, I think if I leave the stream, I have to like completely unplug and restart the broadcast if I want to switch them. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's having a, having splashing around with her Mod Podge. <clears throat> That's so funny. All right, I do find it's easier to rip before when you have Mod Podge on your hands and you go to try to rip tissue paper. Mine's flying around because my fan is on. You can kind of make a big mess. So yeah, that, that choice is yours, where you want this to go. So I'm just gonna do strips, no particular rhyme or reason. And then also, it's also kind of handy to have, this is like, I'm like a mess already. Where's my whole stack? Um, more. I was going to say it's, it's nice to have like a second napkin at the ready in case you need to re, in case you need to like re, what's it called? If you need more pieces or whatever. I don't know why I can't talk. I can't talk and ooh, we can go this way. Never done that before. So that you have all sorts of choices. Mm, maybe I'll just start like that. All right, here goes nothing. All right, so you are going to be using a ton. <laughs> That's why I use Mod Podge. It's a lot cheaper than that medium. But we're going to do a nice layer under. Chunk. And then we're also going to put a big fat layer on top, which basically means you have Mod Podge seeping all the way through. You could probably just put it on top, to be honest. And because it's a napkin and it's so absorbent, it just go right through anyways. But because foam heads are so like porous with like pores and all sorts of things. This, this, all the coating just helps it to stick down. And you kind of just like fight down all the wrinkles, just like mash them down with your foam head. I like already know I'm gonna need more. Oh, I, for, I forgot of her ears. All right, so her ear is here. <laughs> or, yeah, sure. Let me tilt this this way so you can see that way better. Oh, that's really good. That's much better. Okay. So, all right, I have my one piece on. I, the key is like, just don't think that hard about it. Just slap it on, folks. 
So I'll just do this section. Oh, that's smart. Cam is using a uh, pins to pin them on. Oh shit, I didn't realize I'd like splurged some off. Yeah, I can't be that bothered. Because then you have to unpin them and move them. I just slap it on. But I'm sure someone will love that suggestion so much. So thank you. If anyone else has tips to share, please share away. My tip is to slap it on and go. Uh, but like this, I just like rip this section. But like, who cares? Then you just slap another chunk over it and you're done. Like, it's all good. The only problem with, with like um, pinning it first is that people that are very, are into like perfection, are gonna be get very stressed out if something like moves or you spend you'll you it can kind of sidetrack you into being perfect about where your stuff is gonna go. And really collage is like the most carefree part of art play in the world. So just be sure you don't start real or you know getting stressed out about that. And I think I'm gonna have her hair. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it maybe go behind here. That was another thing. Like, I, that's another decision you can make. Like, on this one, I kind of stopped it. But you can also paint over it to cover it, too. Like, it just so happened I had stopped it there. But that's another choice. Like, is your hair going to go long down on the neck? Or are you going to kind of keep it cupped up around there? Yeah. And I only mentioned that because, yeah, people start like getting precious and this this is a not a precious layer this is a this is a crazy layer i just hope that i don't run out of napkin because oh because i only have one i don't know why i only have one of those napkins i hope i have enough i'm looking around everywhere on the floor for just one more in case i need any more <coughs> there's someone at my door really i am super busy so um, they're just going to have to wait. <laughs> All right. I know. It's always when you're busy that you can't get the door. All right. So now I'm going to just do that. Back. I'm just hoping that I don't run out. But Maggie, relax. Right. Oh, look at that. I just ripped a hole right through her head. Right. You can even do this and like press it down into it. And then of course in the front too, you can decide how far down you want to go. She looks like she's wearing just like a head wrap. Oh, look, I can't even, I, I was going to reposition it and it got, st it got stuck. Well, that just makes the decision for me now, doesn't it? I wasn't going to put it there, but guess I will. Because I can't move it now. <laughs> so funny. Got to roll with the punches. And like, this is just awkward. So I'm actually going to just rip that. Oh, that's funny. And I'm just using the this to press. They keep it tears so easily. So if you can like just press it down, that's also an option. Oh, Max. All right. I really think I'm gonna run out. <laughs> All right, I have this big thing in the back, so I'm going to slap it on the whole back here. Yeah, she totally does have bangs. I know, right? 
She's got baby bangs. It's just it's hilarious. All right, so I'm going to do this back section. This huge piece. Oh, nice. Because I'm terrified. I'm going to run out. So I chose the only napkin that I have one of, even though I have packs of the other. <laughs> of course. Of course, that's the one I chose. Chuck some. No, that's like quite a big fold that I don't care for. But if you put enough Mod Podge on, you can even just really can. Oh, look at that. I like took half of it with me. Ugh. Just keep mooshing. <laughs> oh. All right. Look at that big chunk. All right, how's it going, my people that are, all I would be so shocked if more than like two people are doing this at the same time, but I'm so hoping that you are. I she has this poor little bald spot back here. I'm just gonna take a little, see, you can just take a little section, cover that up. No bald spot for you, cutie, patootie. Okay. So excited. Press that into place. Oh, Michelle is working with me. Yay. And then this one's going to go on this side. Oh, I still have that whole other side too. Yikes. Okay. I'm doing this side. Oh, I need more. So you run out. Get some, that's a lot. Get some more. Why I used to buy Mod Podge by the gallon. Now you know. Because it is amazing. Oh, I'm actually going to put the scraggly side towards her head for better, for worse. Kind of give her like a sideburn. It does get tricky because it's, it is uh, foldy. But now do you see why scrapbooking paper would be so bad? It would be impossible. You would have to use like teeny tiny little sections. Okay, I'm kind of loving her baby bangs in the front. I'm, I'm, I keep catching glimpses of her on the camera. I'm like, oh, she's kind of cute, actually. Ooh. All right, so now that, now, see how I kind of left it scraggly there? <laughs> oh, she's cute. Okay, now we need, oh God, I only have four strips left and then I'm completely out. So this, I have to do this side. Um, I have to budget my, my paper. All right, Donna, you can catch up. She does have Pulp Fiction Pang. Yeah, they're baby bangs. <laughs> I once had a friend who was like, you should do baby bangs. I was like, ah, I feel like I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to rip this. I have to be very thoughtful now. I can't just slap dash it on because I have so little. All right, this one, I think this will be a good chunk. I'll spin it around as soon as I'm done. Yeah, this one over here. Again, kind of reminiscent of the side. <laughs> And then, oh, okay, I think I'm going to make it. Wow, I figured out my budget. No, it's really tricky when you do the back. All right, I was going to go all the way down, but I definitely am not going to have en enough napkin to do it. So I'm going to have to end it like around here just enough, I think. 
So let's see, I need this to go there. Yep. It's a big chunk. Doing it. Oh no, now I can't even remember which one. Why they're all blowing around because my fan is on. Is it this one? It is now. Is Gloria watching? She, this reminds me of clown colors. Gloria is a professional clown. I feel like she would approve. Right, so I'm just mashing. Weirdly, the back is like a lining. I was complete accident, like 100% accident. And then, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna make it. And then I really just need to get this back, this area covered. I'm just gonna put her down. This is like still wet actually. So that's good. And then sticky. Look at how weirdly like perfect that is in the back. Look, it just goes like whoop and seals that in. That's freakish. Worked out freakishly well. Again, I'm just kind of like pressing the Mod Podge into the napkin, <laughs> willing it to stick on. All right, now we can turn around and see where I'll, hello. Oh, see now she's talking. That's how you know you're making progress. Hello, my name. Oh, she's so cute. I feel sure bangs were straighter. That's like a kid cut. Okay, how is she looking? Holy cow. That was pretty good. I only have this is all that I have left. I have this and that little piece. Oh, and I have, oh shit. And I have this little strip over here. That's all I have. Okay. Oh, and then over here. Okay, so I have some bald spots in the back. Um, you can barely see them. Oh, that's actually not bald spot. That's actually the napkin way showing through. So when you get to this part, you can kind of twirl your person around and just see if there's anywhere else you want to add and do it while it's still wet. If you get to wait till it's tacky and then you try doing it, that's when you get all the rips and it gets dicey. So do it now. I'm gonna keep her adorable baby things. I actually love them right now. And then with my leftover Mod Podge, I am going to, um, I'm just gonna, I'm going to smooth this all over the rest of the foam. It's like a thin layer. This is hard because you can't see it because it's white on white. So just kind of like go slow. And this will help fill in just some of the foam bumpies. Does anyone have any questions? I have a minute. We yeah, have swim cap. That's hilarious. <laughs> Um, please let me know. Now is a great time for questions. I can kind of look up as I quote her. And Mod Podge dries really fast. So um, as soon as I put my hair dryer on this, honestly, like two minutes, she'll be dry. I'm going to do try to do one side. And then the other. You can see it kind of like, why don't, don't move this over to this side. I keep like having to reach. I'm like, or you can move the bowl. Genius. All right. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, you're making a, re a Rex Ray collage and I, you covet my, I don't know what a Rex Ray collage is. Oh no. You're coveting my napkin. I would share, but I only have the one. <laughs> I think someone gave me 
like people send me stuff a lot and I just think it was in at some point it was in uh, a collection of things that were sent to me I didn't I don't think I bought this one Oh, she's got like a hole back here. So I have a little strip. So I'm just going to like plug the hole. Oh, shit. And then see how see how it's tacky now? And I put my finger on to hold her still. Now watch. When I lift my finger, I'm like taking it off with me. So the tacky stage is the danger stage. So you don't want to... You can touch it when it's wet and you can touch it when it's dry, but try not to touch it when it's tacky. That's the danger zone I was just talking about. So I did that side. I think I got this already when I was doing that part, but. I think it's such a good job. Her nose is so pretty. Even with this smashy bit. All right. So now while I'm doing this, I'm going to try to kind of like conjure. <laughs> I'm trying to conjure the skin color. Like what is she feeling like for skin color? Like green is always like my weird go-to. Maybe I might just do yellow. And then do, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have our wicked matchy, matchy, matchy. You okay, Mags? All right. I think I got her. What time is it? Oh, okay. Okie dokie. All right. I think I got her up. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. I don't, I've never seen smaller foam heads. I've only ever seen them. I think traditionally foam heads are just used for like holding wigs. It's like, I think what they were like invented for. And of course, then the craft market chimed in and we can do all. I've never seen one other than like a whatever size this is, 10 inches maybe. All right, so I do have some scraps left, but I literally don't belabor this part. Like it's funky, it's wonky. I don't care. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I didn't see any questions. I'm going to just go around and just, if I see any pieces that are like flicking off or sticking out, I'll just like mash. I'm trying not to, to touch it with my fingers because you saw what happened just a second ago. Okay, so I'm gonna take my um, hair dryer and I'm gonna just dry this for a minute. It actually does not take long at all to dry to a point where I can hold her. But um, I was gonna think, I don't even know if I, I should probably like mute it. I was like, I would mute it so you don't have to hear it. But actually, I don't even know how to do that. So sorry, but you can put turn the volume on down on your side. And then I'm gonna put this, um, Try to think if I'm done. Sometimes I need to go around a little. I'm going to keep it out for just a minute. But when I'm to totally done with that, I'm going to put it in my water that I have next to me. So I'm going to dry this. I'm going to peel my fingers off <laughs> and dry this real quick. And I apologize for the sound of my hair dryer. Um, Debbie, you can totally collage the whole head. Um, I don't want to take the time to get a broomstick. I'm good. She's good. Yes, Maria. I mod, I, yes, I put Mod Podge at, under the collage, over the collage and over the entire foam head. Yes.
So I put this on so thickly, I have like drips. So I'm just touching, just like kind of forcing the drips out by pushing my foam brush against it because the acrylic paint is going to like pick, pick up on that. And I really, this is going to be gloppy and gluey and wet for a while. I'm actually not going to stress out about that part because I'm going to move on to the face and the white areas pretty soon, which I only have a thin layer on. So I'm really just going to focus on drawing the Mod Podge on her face and around her neck. And then this can kind of take its time to dry. Um, so I'm going to do that and the same time text my kids to feed Maggie because it's her time to eat at the same time. I'm always momming. Okay, here we go. I got phone in one hand and we got hair dryer in the racks. I got two mags. Ooh, I'm gonna like blow her over. Thank you very much. You can leave it open because she'll just like want to come back in when she's done. Um, okay, so that's a good question. So at, Robin is correct. Mod Podge is usually the last layer. It's also the third layer or the fourth layer. Uh, will using it make some things not usable and decorating the face? Nope. It's not when I'm using, when I'm usually doing, and thank you, Jeanette, for drawing my attention to this question. Um, when I'm using like a canvas, like all of the, all of the pieces behind me are all done on canvas. Most of them are done with the hamburger method too. Then I, ge I generally don't recommend using Mod Podge. Um, and just to be clear, this is the hamburger system that I'm working with today. So we had canvas is step one collage that's what we're just wrapping up right now and then we're about to go to acrylics so normally i don't recommend using mod podge for for just almost like garage collage because um it really isn't like specifically designed for paints it's a craft product that's really more designed for gluing and sealing but because this is more of a craft project, I'm like a little bit more loosey-goosey on the materials that I'm going to be using. If this was like in my art journal or on Canvas, I would not be using Mod Podge right now. I would be using Matte Medium. So it's a great question. But this is for me like such a craft project. It's like, you know, it's always going to look like a little crappier and edgier and like craggalier than like a Canvas. But that's a great question. But no, it will have no effect. Um especially because we're going to be layering like again and again. So it'll all just get like packed together. And that being said, if that is all you have, can you use it on the canvas? You can. It's not the best, but you totally can. Yeah. With no like big consequences or anything. Um, and also where did my drink go? Okay. So let me just kind of feel her face. Billy, Billy. Can you do me a favor and grab my drink? I think I left it in the kitchen next Everyone. to this thing. My drink? I have like a drink with a straw. Thank you. Put my kids to work. Okay. So, okay. So I'm so excited. All right. So we got through the biggest step, really. Now we're just entering the, the fun zone. All right. So next uh, next on the list after we do collage is the acrylics step and the gesso. I'm, I don't need to gesso her. I'm just going to dive right into the paint part because there's no need to gesso her. Um, yes. Oh, no. Where did I put 
don't mind. That'll that's fine. I'll take whatever. I had like a bigger one with ice. Oh, I left over from yesterday. <laughs> whatever. Thank you. Maggie. I know. Maggie, come on. Come on, come on Maggie. Oh, you're in. so good. Thank you. Good girl. You go girl. Maggie. Maggie and I are like one. Okay. Okay, cool. So now I need to figure out like what I think that is. I can't, there's like these white strips and they're throwing me off. See the white? I keep thinking they're like bald spots, but actually I think I think that's that's the design. It's so funny. It keeps throwing me. Okay. So we are on the acrylics layer. So the the next question is what is her skin color gonna be? So if I so whatever, and this is what's super fun because everyone's is gonna look so different. So whatever napkin or tissue paper that you chose to use for this project today, just go grab paint colors that are the same colors that are already in your napkin. So I'm gonna get up and run to my closet and come and I'm taking this with me. And I will literally go into my closet and grab the yellow. I'm going to grab the red. I'm going to grab the pink, the orange, and the green. <laughs> and then one of those I'm going to choose for her skin color. And I also might grab some white because it's always good too. Yeah, hot pink is right. I know I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards my fluorescence today, to be honest. <laughs> so ah, Jill says, I wish I could glue more hair onto my head. I know, right? So I'm going to, I'll be right back. I'm going to take her. So you guys go do that now as well. And I might I have that sections bothering me. All right. I'm going to take this. I'm going to be back as fast as I can. Send the magazine. Do you want to go out? So here's some, I do have fluorescence, which would be amazing. I have like a fluorescent yellow. I'm going to go see if I can find it. That's just a cadmium. Although I actually really like that. One more second. I think. Ooh. Oh, that's the fluorescent lemon yellow. That does not work at all. So I'm like super literal when it comes to choosing paint colors. Like I'll be like, is that the same? Yes. Yes. Take it. Is that the same? That's like really shocking, but it might be cute for like lips, you know? This light pink isn't in here. But it might make good skin color. Don't know yet. This is too shocking. And this is this chrome green light. Oh, I'm kind of liking this. Oh, and then that I missed this darker green I missed entirely. So I'm going to go. And I also missed the red. Let me go grab. Oh, and I did bring out my orange. Let me go grab. I need a red and a dark green. Okay, so I have a couple of greens. So I again, I'm super literal. I hold it up. Does it is it does it work? This green is kind of in between the dark and the light green, so that actually might work better. And I know that this green does not have great coverage, so I'm going to eliminate that one. Look at that red. That would be pretty awesome for her lips. Even more awesome than the fluorescent actually. The fluorescent, I thought I would do that, but I think it's actually too much but some like solid red lips god she's so cute she's so cute okay and she feels nice and dry so we can actually go on to the next step but this is really annoying me so like about ready to oh shit, fall off my chair 
I'm just going to, before we go too much farther, this is just bothering me, this spot. Just going to lay this across. Kind of clean up this area. One foul swoop. And once it's past that, that tacky stage, you can totally go back and do whatever you want on top of it, including paint. Oops. But you just make sure you have, you want your surface to be consistent. So you don't want any little areas that don't have Mod Podge on it. So you're literally cold coating the whole paint the whites. Yeah, we can paint them. But I, I don't really care that much too. I'll just leave, I'll just leave them. Or if they're part of the napkin design. That one was just bothering me. I think some of it had gotten ripped. Okay. Ugh. Sticky everywhere. Okay, so back to skin colors. I gotta assess her. I th I'm kind of leaning towards the pink. I think it, that pink also covers pretty well. Now I could do like skin tone, but that's just so boring. And this is like a really weird foam head. So I feel like we need to do a really weird foam head color for her. All right, I'm like, a, I'm kind of torn between yellow and pink. I think pink might be nice because it will set set it off a little bit. The yellow is a little like might tie in almost too well with her hair. Do you know what I mean? All right. She's a little sassy. All right. What do you like? What do you guys think? I'm kind of leading towards the light pink. There is a lighter pink. This is lighter than the light pink in here, but I feel like it would make a good skin tone. <laughs> and the other one I'm, I think would be cool would be yellow. It would make it more like way more wacky. You like the pink. Oh no, it's going to be a tie. Oh, so far it's only one yellow and all the rest are pinks. I know. Sorry, Linda. Pink is too normal. There's nothing normal about this foam head, Linda. I know. I like the pink though. Oh, now I'm getting some yellows in here. I know. I'm just letting, I'm just going to be quiet and watch the votes roll in. Oh, this is a neck and neck race. I'm usually super anti-yellow. I am i don't know why yellow does something to me. It makes me cringe a little bit. Be wild. I'm always wild. But the pink looks cute. The yellow is going to be a little Martian-y. It's going to be like super wacky. I know, I was thinking of half yellow and half pink, but I think that... I don't know that I could, you know, it would be so hard would be making it like exactly straight somewhere. Although I guess we could do half and half like this way down. That would be also be wacky. We could do a lighter yellow. That's true. This yellow just is so spot on. I might choose the pink only because I know this pink has better coverage than the yellow. Yellow and orange of every paint doesn't cover very well. It's like something with the pigments. Um, and I really want like an opaque covering. I don't want to do 10 coats. I don't, I just want to like cover well. And I know this pink is really good by Lucas. So I think I'm going to go with the pink for that reason. I'm, I'm 50. I would, could do it for either one. And I think it would be awesome, but I need the coverage. So we're not here for six days to be like, Full. <laughs> Leanne feels very passionately that pink is too light. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. She's going to, oh, I don't have any false lashes. That would be super fun. But also we can make her, um, we can make her features. And also pink and green look really nice. And she's definitely going to have green eyes. Mix the pink and the yellow. No, I like the literal interpretation of these. <laughs> I like them just as this. 
And then I'll have another color which we're introducing, which, yeah. And we can always change it. So this is why you guys have to do your own foam heads. So you can have your own, you can do your own ones. This one, I don't think this has even ever been opened. Use your own. I'm not mixing anything. I'm a tube, straight from the tube girl, my friends. Here we go. People in here mixing, high maintenance. <laughs> what do you think, I'm an artist or something? Come on now, let's not get ridiculous. Wink, wink, saying that to my, these are all my Wonder Bundle members that are causing so much trouble. They're my, they're, they know me the best. Um, I think I'm gonna actually use a brush for this, not a foam brush. I think I forgot to put this on the, um, <laughs> I have a funny story about this guy. You guys know this one? <laughs> you see my bearded man? This is my bearded man mug. My son Max went to uh, one of those like paint your pot clay camps and I was like obs obsessed. And so I made that, this is what I made. Give it to the bearded man. He is trustworthy. I don't know what that means. But that's just something I made with my with my kids. But he holds my paint one of my favorite acrylic paint brushes. Okay, so the bearded man is gonna be over here sharing you more of my wacky stuff. Linda, you've been out ruled. I can't. I think that yellow has shitty coverage. It won't. I'll be so annoyed. I'll have to do like three layers. I don't have time for that today, unfortunately. Um. And this covers solid. So what you're gonna do is, if you, has anyone tissued the whole face? Let me ask you that. I know you're just kidding, Linda. You know what I know, and I know you know I'm just kidding as well. Does anyone have questions? Anyone doing like scared of what they need to do next? I can, I can definitely paint and watch the chat. I'm not that careful of a person. <laughs> and here you can like cut in too. I can like make her, I'm skirting around it very nicely, like being very literal again with where this goes, but you could totally like change the, change the um, design that's showing through by just painting. Um, Christy did the whole thing. Candy, I'm gonna teach you the whole thing because I'm using pattern tissue for the face, something else for the hair, okay. Tammy, you tissued the whole face. Okay, cool. Do you understand what you need to paint? So in the ones that I tissued her whole face, I didn't use any paint for skin color, okay? In either this one or this one. So do you have any questions about like, so for these two, I wouldn't be doing this step right now. I would actually, I, was, I painted the hair only at the step for the two that I, collaged the whole face. Does that make sense? Do you guys know where you're going to go with your paint? I'll leave these here so you can kind of look at them. They'll like stand up straight. <laughs> Roly polies. Stop moving. So this one I just did swirls. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yes, Christina, I did. I used napkin and Mod Podge, correct. So these are the ones I just painted this. If you did the whole face right now, um, you can do paint the hair on this step. If you did just the hair, you can paint just the face. So it's really just the opposite, if that makes sense. Okay, cool. Candy's using dress pattern tissue. Amazing, amazing. I have so much of that and I've still not used it. All right, so I am gonna just carefully, and I'm keeping my eyes on chat, but I'm just gonna carefully. Yeah, I'm glad I want the pink, the coverage. Yeah, I'd be really annoyed if I have to do a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of layers. This is not gonna take me long at all. And of course, acrylics dry pretty fast, so. Having so much fun, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Do I draw the hairline? 
no, <laughs> this was an accident. This was an accident. I actually put it there just to see what it would look like. And then I was like, mm, no. And I went to go lift it off and it was already stuck because it was sticky underneath it. So I just laid it down and glued it. So no, that was not designed. Now the pink looks like it doesn't match whatsoever because it's like the, the least of all of the colors that's in the napkin and the color that's in the napkin is like a much darker pink. So I already broke my own rule of saying I was gonna be literal and choose the exact same one, but I am glad it's lighter because I think you'll be able to see the features uh, just against the hair like her. But also, you, we can always also paint over it if we ever change our mind, right? I'm definitely going to give her red lips, though, and green eyes. Green and pink is, like, one of my favorite color combinations. I love farting with you, too, Ellen Goodman. <laughs> and if there's anyone here, like, what the hell did she just say? My teaching philosophy is farts, which is that the way to become a good artist is simply... Fart a lot, which is F stands for fun, which is like, hello, if this isn't fun, I don't even know what to tell you. The second one is attitude. For example, when you glue something on the wrong way, you laugh about it and keep going. You don't get upset. The R, repetition, because it turns out doing something a lot really is it's really a good idea if you want to get better at something. And T is last, because believe it or not, techniques are awesome, but they are not the most important thing. That's why they're last. And fun is the most important thing, and that's why it's first. So that's why we are painting a foam head today, because it is the most fun ever. So there we go. It looks so different now that she's all done. It looks like it doesn't match at all. Isn't that weird? It looks like it's super random. Huh. That's bizarre. All right. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. There are enough room for, for surprised eyebrows. Yes, I will show you them. Hold on. Let me just wrap it. Let me just finish this because I'm almost done. Bring you around. Okay. Oh, I had a skipper in her eye. Okay, so move over here, crazy girl. And this one, we have this one. She has the same hair kind of that I'm doing now, only I gave her this sassy like eye swatch. Oh, I forgot the sassy eye swatch. I think I ran out of I think I officially ran out of tissue paper, though. I really, I don't even know where my scraps are. That's not happening. Okay, so this one has the same kind of cap hair that I just did. This is a uh, mermaid. She has painted hair and a fully collaged face, so it's the opposite. And she's got fish all over her face that isn't that's just a napkin she'll always be my favorite one um yes you totally can paint over a napkin that's what all these are yeah this is what this is this is a napkin and then i painted the hair yes and this is a nap this is tissue paper painted the hair yep doesn't matter what you do, you can paint on it. And then this one, this one is spray painted and then just painted. I don't know what the best camera angle is for that, but that's her. So I spray painted, I coated her with Mod Podge, sprayed her all of her head black. I used it as a party decoration. And then I changed, and then I spray painted it orange and made her into a Halloween decoration. That's just paint. Um, no, I don't have newspapers. That one is a Tim Holtz tissue paper. It's like this. 
Um, and I have, a, I have a couple of different kinds, but there's like sections that have text on it. So any kind of tissue paper, napkins, is awesome for a foam head. Um, yeah, sassy flower eye would be fun. Oh, that's a great idea, actually, because it just so happens I have one right here that actually is the same kind of colors. Should I do that? Let me open this up. Oh, I love that idea. Let me dry this. It'll just take me a second and then I can, maybe we'll cut one out and make her flower. I'm loving that idea. Okay. Um, newspaper would work. Just be careful because newsprint can, when you add all the Mod Podge, sometimes that ink can run quite a bit. So just make sure you test that out before you try it. But like um, foam book paper would be really good too. Where can I get that tissue paper? Uh, I don't, Amazon, I get everything on Amazon, to be honest. Peace sign earrings. All right, let me shoot this dry for a sec. be a good way to weight it down a bit. I have many cats. I have many cats too and many phone heads. I don't I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Oh thank you Jeanette. <laughs> Eileen, what's a newspaper? That's the best. <laughs> um I'm noticing some skippers on her face. So I'm just gonna take a second. Mm. Get those. Okay. so weird like even though she doesn't have anything but just is colored she looks like she's already transforming it it's so funny yeah Ooh. oh she's still kind of wet back there okay so um i i do love the idea of the flower eye but i don't know how it's gonna look so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually i'm gonna cut this one out and just lay it over her eye and see what i think don't be offended if I don't do it. <laughs> it's all just craziness today. Oh, that's fun. Um, but this is a great way to use different things. I was just using itty bitty scissors yesterday for a Celtic Collective new lesson. And then I tossed it in my bin. And I was like, boy, I'm probably never gonna be able to find that again. And I think I was right. All right, so I'm gonna do, this one has like the similar colors with it. I think this one's way too big. It would like take over the whole, the whole one. So I'm just gonna try this one. See if that works. 
do this as quickly as possible. I know watching someone cut something and watching someone blow dry something has got to be the most boring. I'm going to edit this video and put it up on my YouTube channel this week. So if you want to rewatch it and not have to watch me blow dry drying things, that will be coming. Yes. She does need a roll. You know what? I'm thinking about getting a nose ring. I love a nose ring. I think they're beautiful. I feel like my time has come. I feel like I'm three tattoos is plenty, and now I need to add something else. All right. I'm going to just do this. Oh, I guess I could lay it on before I actually go through the effort of cutting this all out. Oh, hi, Leslie. It's so nice to see you. I'm making a really wacky moment right now. <laughs> Um, although it's pink on pink. See, that would have been cool had I done the yellow base. Damn it. Oh, I should have done yellow. Should we still do it? All right, let me know if I should still do the flower eye. You should definitely do a tattoo. Where do I get my foam heads? Amazon, Michaels. This one's from Amazon, but I've, Michaels has them all the time as well. Um, yes, do the flower. Okay. It's resounding flower eye that will be done. It's going to go right on her. Just got to get my cuddle. I hate cutting. It makes me mad a little bit. It's like detail work, which, you know, all my students know I'm not into that. I'm a slapdash big area kind of a person. All right, two more little chunks to cut out here and we'll be good. All right. Okay. All right, now I have to get rid of the two ply. Do, do, do. Not a. Kind of moist in the back there. Just like I said, getting the plies apart is literally the hardest part. Oh, there we go. Don't rip the petals. Not cutting that out again. Ah. So delicate. No. Whew. All right, we are in business. Woo! All right, we're free. Oh yeah, I love a foam head. <laughs> in my um, this first one I did is in my mixed media magic book. If anybody wants step by step written directions? I feel like that. Maybe I'll do the flat one up top because then her eyebrow will be above it. And that's already kind of like cropped. It's going to be really weird to glue on because her face is like, and she's got all these eyelids and everything. So wish me luck. This is not going to be easy. Okay. Getting yet. You have the book. There's a foam head project in it. Jill says, I wonder what vintage brooches would look good all over her head. Yeah, I'm not sure. But my Mod Podge is like a nasty drying film on top of it. Lovely. Just <laughs> dig. Ooh, I laughed and my flower went flying. All right, so this is Mod Podge. And here is my flower eye. Flower eye. Boosh. You haven't flowered in the eyeball. Take that, sister. Oh, it's so weird. I'm afraid to like rip the petals, so I'm gonna just do this very gently.
like nestle it in there. Ugh. Ugh. It's literally her flower eye. <laughs> so funny. All right, we did it. Got it all wedged right on in there. So who said flower eye to begin with? Whose idea was that? It was not mine. <laughs> oh, she said in the 60s, that's what we did in her makeup. Yeah, we did some of those in the, in the drawing club, in the drawing the decades classroom. We did some twiggy makeup, but I didn't do any of the flower ones. All right, now I'm just going to dry that a little bit. And also just turn her around. There are still some like areas that could use another layer of pink. Just a couple. Nothing crazy. All right, we'll get into the super fun stuff in just a second. So we're gonna next we can start kind of carving out her eyes not carving them out <laughs> like with a you know knife carving them out by adding detail to them came out all wrong gonna carve out her eyes all right Ooh. look at her little Let's glue that down oh she's so pretty Oh yeah, don't worry. I have all sorts of things around me. Don't you worry. I have Mod Podge sparkles. I, on the floor to my left, I have four, three bins of bedazzles as well as a whole bag of, but we're not there yet. That's the finishing touches. We are still making her human. So um, I'm gonna dry her eye <laughs> and her face. Um, Look at even the little things around her thing are like going around her eye in a really creepy way. I'm just going to dry her for two seconds and then I'm actually going to get some white so we can do the inside white of her eyes in a second. Good enough. All right. She looks super cool, you guys. Thank you for all your suggestions. Yes, it's being recorded as we speak. Oh. Um, okay. I'm going to go get some. We need some white for her eyes. Let me go grab some. White. Right. Sorry, I also had to pee because because <laughs> it's been an hour and that's my cadence. <laughs> yes. I'm just getting caught up. All right, so I have some white and I'm going to paint in just the whole white part of her eyes. 
my ladies that are farting along today, are you, how are you guys doing? Let me know. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm going to, all right. So I will need some gesso on this part because the paint is not adhering. So gesso is literally surface prep. So it helps, it makes your, and so she's so sticky that that gesso will help, help this all stick together. Let's have some gesso, my Lipitex. Just need like the tiniest bit. Just gonna get it from inside the rim here. Oh, good. Michelle's painting her hair right now. Awesome. It's okay. I know, you're not slow. I'm just really fast. You're, you're probably quite normal paced. All right. So on my mannequin foam head, there's like a very distinct area for the eye region. Yeah, Karen. And oh my God, please post pictures when you're done in the Facebook group. If you're, this is not being streamed to the Facebook group today, but make sure, come and join if you're not already in there. Just search groups for Awesome Art School. And come and show me. And you can also use hashtag fart along and you'll be entered to win. Every month that I do a live on Facebook, you can, we'll, we open it up for a giveaway at the end on the first of the next month. So... Oh my God, can you believe that will be September 1st? Where is the time going? I don't even know. All right, so there's, I didn't really mean to do the bottom lid, but I did. And I think I am, God, I gotta like find her eye. Ugh. Gross, I'm touching your open eye, so sorry. Ugh. It's not as clear cut over here. Oh, it's all lumpy and weird. Just gonna do my best. Thank you, Jeanette. Maybe the links. They don't even look the same. I don't know why. Oh, this is like, like that. That's why. The, the tissue paper like covered all the nuances of the, like whatever was smooth in the, uh, where the paint was is now all chunky from the collage paper. So they don't exactly match. Oh, well, good enough. It's a freaking foam head. All right. Nothing smooth about this side at all. Are they kind of the same? <laughs> sure, sure they are. All right. <laughs> oh, I will definitely be, I give everyone a winged liner, <laughs> whether they like it or not. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my goodness. Congratulations, Sherry. His daughter's getting married. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to get out my paint pens in two seconds. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to do, I'm going to do her lips next and I'm going to do them super red. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, oh, Jesus. I think I'm going to do them kind of like my mermaid girl where have them like just full proper lead red lips and then we can give her like a like a reflection on the bottom maybe kind of sexy I don't think I need to just testing out my brushes I don't think I need to gesso but I might be wrong so I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of red Oh, I should mention all the paints are from my signature paint set with Jerry's Artorama. Shout out to Jerry's. 
but this is genuinely the acrylic paints I've been using for a million years. I'm going to give her a nice full lip. And then this one, I'm going to give her like a proper, like, ooh, <laughs> my brush is so long. Can't move it without chopping my own neck off. Okay. Um, then we'll do this. Like a proper, you know, V. weird it's weird when it's 3d lips it's a little extra creepy oh see i have the mermaid oh i'm gonna i gotta copy that one because it looks good because they kind of like fling up on the sides Whoa. Need my paint pens to help shape these in the right way we'll definitely be busting out my pens in a moment Ooh, can't make that pass my own face is in the way. And then this is like here. It's hard because I'm going off of the foam head. Like foam head wants me to go some way, one way, and I'm not following it. This is the most careful I've ever painted anything in my whole life. Like her lips actually go out that way. I can't even get in here because it's so like it's so curved the road runner is my spirit animal. <laughs> all right she looks very looks very pleasant she definitely needs some sassy brows though she's still looking very like vanilla y I was gonna give her some green brows, but I'm afraid that's gonna make her like Christmassy and I definitely don't wanna do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I think I might quickly Mod Podge her face because that will seal it in. So to recap, we are following my hamburger system. Canvas is our foam head. Collage is the decoration for her hair. Then we were we just did gesso and acrylics. Um, so now we can do some fine tuning. We totally can do that now, actually. Or I can just, I was about to skip to the sealer step. You can kind of go either way. Um, but why don't I keep falling with the hamburger for a second and I will add some detail work with those. Um, so I'm gonna get my paint markers out i think so posca pens you can also just use regular acrylics and a small brush i just suck at doing anything small so i'm gonna use my paint pens because it just makes it super easy <laughs> you guys are so funny where are my paint pens there they are Oh my gosh, you know what I haven't done is take any pictures. I can't believe it. It's so dumb. I, I got so caught up, I didn't even remember. It's always fun to... All right, so here I have a whole bucket of Posca pens. Mm. Let me just get like a black do some like detail work that works get our whites also my sharpie black and white that works it's pretty dry and you can do a lot with paint pens as well <clears throat> do her green eye Sharpie has like every color, although that's not really this. I kind of like this color. And I like how on this foam head, 
she's looking off to the side. So I think I'm going to make this one looking off to the other side because I'm crazy like that. And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> just need to see if my gesso is dry. I will pencil, pencil this on because it's really hard to paint over these curved like sections. So I think I'm going to like just give myself a little guide with my pencil so I can assess. It's really important that they're looking in the right way. Make sure they're, it makes sense before you add paint. She's got to get some better eyebrows that will make her expressive. Right now she looks kind of dumb. All right, I'm going to use this light green. And start there. You guys still good? My foam head makers, my fellow foam head makers. I love Ellen being demanding for all this weird things. Meanwhile, Ellen, you look kind of vanilla in person, girlfriend. I don't see you with a, with a face tattoo. Just saying. Maybe you should get a face tattoo. <laughs> Ellen. Ellen, do you have tattoos we don't know about? Yellow eyebrow on pink eye and pink eyebrow on the other. I might do black because I want them to super stand out. I think I'm going to have some black detailing. Well, I hope her eyes actually read okay when this is all said and done. This green does not never codes very well. Yeah, Ellen, I know I think you're vanilla. You with your get a face tattoo. I think you have to be the first one. If you get a face tattoo, I'll get a face tattoo. How about that? I always do green eyes. I'm like a one hit green eye wonder. My sister had green eyes. My grandmother had green eyes. It's a tribute. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do some black details, actually. I'm definitely going to use my Pentel pocket brush pen at the end for her lashes. I think right now she needs some black nostrils, <laughs> being very literal with her black nostrils. Oh, sorry. I am up in your nose, girl. I really am. And then I think I'm looking at my mermaid. Yeah. I might do, so I can do this, the Pentel brush pen might actually work better, but I'm going to use this for her eyebrow. I think her, this eyebrow should be the one going up, but I definitely want to do black because I, she's got to have some sass. I should have also done this. I have to go down and be heavy. Like a heavy, expressive. Coming all the way up. Super soft. And this one. I'm just going to have follow the one that's there. The other one's kind of covered. And she's definitely getting her sass on. And they do give you an eyebrow on this one that I can like follow. This one starts over farther. Drop this one down a little bit more. I gotta kick that chenise up, up and over. <laughs> Her bangs are killing me. <laughs> so funny. I guess I could just rim her eyes. I'm still going to give her eyelashes at the end. I did a huge experiment in the Mixed Media Society's happy hours this week doing the hamburger method. And it was determined that the pocket potential brush pen smears like crazy. So we can't use it under the sealer la layer because it will smear. 
So right now I am just going to use my paint pen to give her solid eyes, but she's not done yet. This way at least I can give her some makeup. <laughs> They're tripping you up. <laughs> oh shoot, that just like smeared black like up into her eye, just not what I wanted to have happen. But I'm just gonna make it extra thick <laughs> because nah, there's nothing I can do about it. So now I'll do this one. That collage eye is so different than the other one. There's so much material there. And winning this one. Now, unfortunately, I have to do a big, thick bit of black on this one now because I messed up and did it on the other one. At the end of the day, as long as they match, it doesn't really matter that much. Matching is more important than. Plus, it's a freaking foam head. <laughs> so really, you're good. Okay, she was. she's gonna get more makeup. She's not done in the makeup department by any means. I kinda wanna like outline her lips a little bit. Maybe give them a little outline. Just because we, once you kinda start with a little bit of a black outline, sorta need to carry it around a little bit because it just helps tie everything together. Even if you don't go all the way around, it's a little ghoulish. I'm not actually loving it. But I can also go back and add some red over it. Mm, she's definitely starting to get some personality. Her ear. Outline her ear. Uh, I do have plans to, like, there will be bedazzling and things. This is a really large ear. And I don't want this to be the center stage. <laughs> it's a very strange ear also. We could also do, I'm kind of thinking we could do some fun things with her hair. So, so much we can do. And we still have to do her little eye details. Oh my gosh, we have like homework here. Oh, I gotta do her pupils too. I can do that now. Try, I'm looking at my other foam heads, okay. So you gotta just put them in. For my other foam head makers at the moment, do you guys have um, things that you're, where are my readers? If you make a mistake with markers, anything to take it off? Um, nope. You can, well, you can if you do the markers over your sealer layer, then you can erase, yes. Which is why I, which is my next step. But on this layer, nope, you can gesso over and adjust. Oh, one of her pupils is way bigger than the other one. Yikes. That's not good. This one is like super oblong. It's really hard to draw on these because it's so uneven. This looks terrible. You can also just try painting over. This looks super bad. So I might just go in with some gesso and see if I can, oh, adjust. Like that's a train wreck. This is a literal train wreck. All right, but there's so much you can do here where this pit pens area is. You can do a lot of magic there. 
But and right now I'm just getting down the marks. So like this, there's like two lines here. So you can use not a black Sharpie, but you can use gesso. You can take like this white paint pen and I just like erased the black by going over it with white. We can do that. <laughs> so you can, so I just fixed my mistake by going over it with white. So this, I had a mistake on, again, this one. So I'm going to paint over it with a green paint pen. Green. Oh my God, my eyesight is so bad. So I'm just putting like a dark green stop stop dark green on the top of the eye so that the bottom of the eye is like light green all right so now i feel like i want to paint some fun designs in her hair again you can do this after the sealer step two um but if you're technically if you're still working with paint you can do it all under the sealer layer because it's permanent so it's not going to do anything all right yeah, most ear most foam heads don't have ears. I think I'm gonna like just doodle quickly some hair chunks. It looks too like I'm gonna just like I don't know. I'm just gonna doodle on her for a minute. Maybe carve some carve with a sharp with this marker. Like hair sections. Just because that's what I'm feeling. Ooh. Just like outlining some of the general... Oh, that looks fun! The general shapes. But it would be fun if we like segmented. Ooh. A fight against the crease there. Little chunky chunks. I'm just following the napkin designs. Oh, it's kind of fun though. That's super silly. Doesn't that look neat? Actually, this looks neater going against the green. Yes, they're like a really distinct. She reminds me of like the Annie Lennox from the Arrhythmics. So doodle as you please, friends. Do what you like. Feeling inspired by these stripes. Whee! Whoa, went off the rails on that one. Nope. This looks like a real hairline. It's like creeping me out actually. So just make sure that whatever you're doing under the sealer is not water soluble. If any material that you've been using this whole time is water reactive, you'll need to use a spray sealer or skip the sealing. Do not seal it. It will be a not fun. Yeah, the, oh, I always do the reflection. It's always the very, 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 very last thing. We save that for last. Ooh, her hair needs some. Ooh, I forgot the part in the hair. We'll make her part like this. Uh-huh. even have these sections. Okay, this is way fun. This is actually a good lesson for hair. You start with the part. And then you... <laughs> Look at her! She's so crazy! <laughs> I'm being super literal with it and I don't care. I'll 
also don't need to connect them all literally either. But it's super fun if you do. Yeah. Bonus points if you make cool sound effects. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh! All right. Here's one trippy foam head. All right. She has cool hair designs now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't worry. We're gonna still we have we still have to do highlights. We gotta do eyelashes, but the first thing I'm gonna do, I also think need to get her, I think. I can't even point to her. I'm going to give her some good cheeks too, but that's all going to come after my sealant layer. So I'm going to dry her with my hair dryer um, super fast. And then I'm going to seal her all with Sparkle Mod Podge. Oh, and then I do have like quite a number of other fun extras while she is drying. I have these. So, like, I was thinking if you don't have ears on your girl, like, you could even, you know, put something physical on your, like, she, oh, my God, these are so going to be her earrings. Look at that. Oh, I think I only have one pink one. Oh, that's okay, though. I'm like, I've never had poofy things on my, look, you could do one yellow and one, heck, yes. I have a whole bag of these because I'm eight. <laughs> So we could do that. I also have little ones. You could like pepper these all around the head. I don't think we have, I have time for that. I have to run some errands. Um, but you could do little ones too. Freaking yes. And then I also have all these bedazzles. So you think I have enough? I used to teach kids. This is what this is left over from. And I used to have these, like all these little girls in my house and they would sit, I would pour bowls for them of these. And they would just sit here and they would be like, get really quiet. And they would just be like scooning there. Like it was just a weird therapeutic thing that all the little girls were do. It was so funny. And they would all do it. And they would just be like, uh, you know, super funny. So I have tons left over. Um, so this would, these would be good too. Absolutely, freaking lootly we could do like oh, so much so much you can do but i'm definitely going to do those poofy things for earrings i've never done that you can put them in the hair you can put them anywhere so so fun so i'll definitely get my hot glue gun going but i'm going to set that up after i get her mod podge so now we are here on the hamburger system so we are up we did our permanent marks um, I did not do anything water soluble because I'm going to seal it now with the mod, with my sparkle Mod Podge. And hint, if you buy sparkle or glitter Mod Podge, you do have to, um, like stir them up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we like her hair. <laughs> I used to eat paste. Nice. Ah! Oh, that wasn't even on. That lid was not even on there. I love the smell of Sparkle Mod Podge. I really do. My, my little girl students used to say it smelled like, what did they used to tell me? Ranch. <laughs> Miss Karen, smells like ranch dressing. I'd be like, all right, I'm going to take your word for that. It does smell good, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would smell like ranch dressing. Um... So we've already Mod Podge everywhere already. So this doing her whole head isn't strictly necessary. You know what? I think this sponge brush was dirty. Not dirty, but I had dried with some Mod Podge on it before. So it was, oh yeah, just, that wasn't soft anymore. But I do like to put a couple layers on because it really like seals everything in here and also gets rid of all the bumpies. Plus, I'm now laying sparkles everywhere, which is magical on her clown head. 
Um, glitter Mod Podge is also equally satisfying. But the sparkles I like because it's more subtle. <laughs> oh, our bangs are hilarious. Yes, definitely, definitely post a picture in the Facebook group and use the hashtag fart along so you will get enter to win. When it, I will release this on, on Wednesday in my on my mixed media channel. So you you will be able to use Karen's YouTube as well. But I feel like if you are really arting along with me right now, like you definitely need to be eligible for a prize because that is extra epic. And it's my way to say, thanks for hanging out with me today. This is the most fun. Oh, it's so satisfying. I love mixed media so much. Now there'll just be this faint glow of sparkles all over her face, <laughs> flower face. I was going to think, I was like, I could probably um, outline her flower too. I'll have to see if I want to do that. I can't wait to give her luscious lashes though. And she also definitely needs some, I feel like I'm going to give her some like contour cheeks. She's too sad. Oh, thank you, Lena. Oh, there you go. Can you imagine putting this kids <laughs> and have them hanging around, Rachel? That would be hilarious. That would be seriously hilarious and spooky, yes. Not to mention we'd be making a mess. <laughs> Right. I'm trying not to put this on too heavily so I, I it will dry fast. If you put it on, it will. But this also, like, it's even sealing because I started with Mod Podge and then did paint. Now when I do a second layer of Mod Podge, it's really filling in the holes that are characteristic of foam. So when we do the next move gonna look awesome. <laughs> She's just staring back at me. I'm like, don't look at me like that. I feel like her name is Shayna. She's definitely Shayna. Hey, when she talks to me, then I know I got her. What's up, girl? I love your sparkle face. Shana, you looking so bad. I cannot wait for your poofy earrings. I think we might do orange. The back of the neck is sparkling like a dream right now, girl. I highly recommend Sparkle Mod Podge to everyone I know. Like, as if Mod Podge couldn't, you got to get the upper nostrils. It got, like, clumps up there. Your life is not complete until you've Mod Podged a foam head with sparkles. All right. She looks amazing. All right. I do have to shoot her with my hair dryer in order to go on to the next step. And while I do that, ooh, I also need to um, plug in my glue gun because we are coming to the amazing end stages of this fantastical project. <laughs> Pinker tat, you guys are obsessed with the face tattoos. <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> oh my gosh, so funny. Oh, I can't roll my chair, it's stuck, okay. She has a flower eye. Isn't that enough, you guys? guys? Face tattoo your own foam heads. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. Oh, I can't get my glue gun out. That might have three. Why oh, four glue guns? I feel like four glue guns is probably plenty for any one human being. You guys have four glue guns? 
Um, I just need an outlet. Oh my God, my table is just filled with foam heads and paints and all sorts of things. All right, I'm plugging my computer because I need, oh shoot. My computer just went dark when I did that. That's not good. Was that just me or did my computer just go dark when I unplugged it? I know, just the two. I don't know why I have four. Why did my, my I feel like my computer just went dark. <laughs> I only have two. I know, why would we even need more than two or more than one? But I have four. Okay, I'm gonna dry this so I can move on to the next step. So fired up. guys are the best like chatting amongst yourselves so awkward my, my favorite was musical interlude <laughs> okay so can you see her can you see her faint sparkles isn't that amazing and if anyone's jealous and wants that you can totally like when you're done just go do another layer of the sparkle all over her your guys's when you're done even if you've already like done the whole thing in regular you can never have too many layers mod box just make sure that the, the art supplies under are permanent. Just make sure. And if you're not sure, if you're in doubt, test, test it out. Let me get rid of these because holy moly. Okay. Now I need some pit pens in my life. Where are they? I need to find my pit pens. And it's really, really crazy in here right now. Uh, I need to check my closet. One moment. Maggie, flip up the row. Um, 
oh, there they are. Oh my God, you know you have too much stuff when you just can't find anything. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna give her some earrings, but I think we can, feel in, I feel like we need to give her some like contouring and I'm gonna definitely, we gotta put the lashes on. So I am going to do her final layer of sealant with a spray sealer at the end because I especially like my pencil pocket brush pen will smear. So just so you know, I will be sealing her at the end, but it will be not using a brush on anything. So that way nothing will be moving around. And the, what's awesome about this stage is that you can erase your markers. I'm just, and actually I'm making sure I have, here we go, wet ones like nearby. Because I just used Mod Podge, you can like, you can like paint and then you can kind of pull. So I'm just going to grab, oops. I don't, I, I feel like I want to do some contouring, So maybe I, I'm not really sure. So if you, oh, that looks really red. I know I just licked it. Oh, oh, <laughs> that just got exciting, didn't it? Oh, I was going to do some contouring, but maybe we need to do it on the cheekbone instead. That is really red. I thought it was going to be more like a pink. Oh. So pippins are have India ink in them. And if you touch them right away, you can that's okay. That does a trick. She just needed a little kind of peek. You can kind of they'll kind they kind of get slippery on the Mod Podge. And you can move them around if you do it fast. Oh, I don't even know what's happening there. But then obviously it like also will sink into that a little bit. But let's not get crazy. It's just a foam head. So don't get so invested. You're like, I ruined that. Like it's a foam head. If you want to try it, cool. If not, cool. So I'm just squishing it around and it's like picking up some weird, it's making some weird marks, but she needed something on her cheeks. I don't even think they're in the same place, but I feel better now that they're not just like stark, stark white cheeks, white pink cheeks. All right, I'm gonna use the green pit pen to add a little more green to her eyes. Pens are so fun on Mod Podge. All right, Rachel, post, you guys put your pick. Oh, Tracy ran out to Michael's and got two foam heads. Heck yeah, Tracy, that's what I'm talking about. So I might even use this same red for like her eye makeup. You got two. So we can like put it on our eyelid. And then we could even like smear it around. <laughs> ah, it went crazy, but it does kind of brush off, which is why I grabbed my wet ones before I started. I want her to have crazy makeup. She's like got a flower eye for goodness sake. Okay, and then I kind of blended the rest. Oh, that looks super good. This, I'm not really sure. We have a flower business. I'm not really sure what's happening. I'll just add a little bit more. So they kind of mash. Blending. Blending with my finger. Ah, she's so beautiful. Okay. If you're chick is looking terrifying because her eyes are open too much oh i would not use pan pastels uh no i'm not using those i'm not using pan pastels they're such a fine art product project you're not feeling love cheryl why because oh 
Um, yeah, I wouldn't use pin pastels on a foam head just because they're so expensive. It's such like a fine art product. And this is just like a ridiculous foam head. So I would keep, I would not use them on this project. No. This is like a straight up craft project. So you can, to make this look not so bright eyed, you can add a little gray on the top. Not but honestly, I kind of didn't mind that, to, to be honest. Um, oh, I need to find my pocket pencil brush pen right now. I'm having a crisis. All right, we can also add some, we can add some white on her lower lip because that always has a little bit of a, of a sheen to it. We can even add some white on the tip of her squish nose. Now, I got fancy with my other foam heads. I actually added a bit of shading to the sides of the nose bridge. I'm not going to do that today. I'm excited to, I'm going to give her lashes. I'm going to put the whites in her eyes, and then I'm going to just bedazzle her, and then we'll be done. Um, I just need to find my pocket pencil brush pen. Can you give me it? Having like a pocket pencil brush pen missing them. Oh, there it is. I was like, it's never far. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, sorry. You were guys were asking if you can use gelatos. Yes, you can use gelatos. You can use them both. Yeah, you can. You would use them under very literally in that burger. You can use gelatos. Um, although actually, I'm trying to think. If they, Jonathan's for me, the way that I use them is I use them over the acrylics. Um, but yeah, if, as long as you did it under your sealer layer. I and mean, that's what I have and that's what I normally do. I forgot that her skin was acrylic. I was thinking it was the collage. But yes, you can literally follow this handout and the, the gelatos goes right under that Mod Podge. Yes. All right. This is my secret weapon for making all lashes and I'm obsessed with it. My glue gun is nice and hot. Um, okay, so these, the Posca pens were the pens I used before I sealed her with the Sparkle Mod Podge because the, <laughs> these are permanent. Like these are just acrylic ink inside. So, and I've tested them a hundred times. So I know that they don't move at all when I seal over them. Pit pens are permanent, but they can still steel they can still move sometimes on people so i always save them until after i'm done sealing just to make sure we're safe there but pit pens are made by favor castell they have pigment ink inside they're really a one-of-a-kind product i don't know any other pen that makes colored pigment pens like these and i use them on top of my sealers um because i can blend out like you saw me blending the cheeks that's something that the pit pens ink allow me to do but you could also use an india ink with us with a with a paintbrush i want her to have like huge lashes like ginormo lashes you can even go this way although it's gonna be way harder it's so hard to go this way all right, lots of luscious lashes. Same thing on here. Go to huge, wingy, wingy, wingy. Oh, I did much better on this side than the other side. So she needed really big lashes. Maybe we make the, the first one sort of the biggest. And that's another thing you do if you want to slim down her eye. If it's too like wide eye looking, you can lower, you can lower the upper lid by just adding more makeup. And that really helps like <laughs> bring that in, rein it in. That's the word I'm looking for. You can put little nose things on either side. I think I'm actually going to keep it like that. And then, of course, we need our sparkle. You can use Posca pen or Pit pen. Yeah, they are some big lashes. I don't mess around when it comes to lashes. 
Um, and then you can do whatever you, oh, this, see, this is not very, this is not very opaque at the moment. So we might have to go and, yeah. We can definitely get better highlights than that. I figured go home on a foam head lash. Um, I can't find anything at the moment because my desk is completely covered. So I'm going to put my the butt of my paintbrush into white and deliver it to her eyeball directly. You have to have at least one, if not two, kind of sparkle spots. Whatever you do on one eye, just be sure to do it on the other eye. Do that. And then it's time to give her some accessories. So I think I'm going to do, I really like these great big ball ones. I wish I had two of the hot, I only have one of the hot pinks. It's weird. This is, these are literally the colors. Get the wet ones out of there. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Oh, green is kind of lame, although it's kind of nice with the rise. Hmm. Let me know. What color should I do? I kind of actually like the green. <laughs> We could do two also. We could do like a, she could have like a double. She looks so pretty. We could do those. Let's see. Okay, now we'll have to have a fight. Oh, that looks good too. There's really no earring color. That's a bad choice. All right, we're going to have another vote. I don't like the, actually don't really like the giant, giant ones. Okay, so what color should I do? We have orange. We have orange. I think I like orange the least. Yellow, green. I kind of like green. It kind of like bring like levels are up a little bit into the sophistication category. Or orange. I know. No, I kind of, I kind of like the orange. I love orange and green. It's like makes me extra happy inside. Oh, that's even smaller. Oh, I like this size, this mid-size one. I must have had these. These have probably had these for a decade at least with all my kids, and all the crafts we've ever done. It's so fun to like go and get these out of storage. I only have one the size. What is with that? Should we do one of one color and one of the other? That's kind of cute, actually. Because those are the same size. Oh my god. All right. Everyone likes the green, I feel like. I think the green got the most of those. Except I don't have the freaking right size. All right. Okay, that looks amazing. Never thought I'd be. Oh, there you go, sister. Shayna. <laughs> oh my God. I have the best job in the whole world. Just so you know. Oh my God. So good. So I can't believe no one. Had... Oh, I guess the fairy has some earrings. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> It's just good to like, will she melt? Why would she melt? No, I don't think so. Look at how beautiful she is. I feel like we need some bedazzles though, like maybe around her eyes. I know that's very much a thing these days. <laughs> Shayla. Oh my God, she really actually looks amazing. Do I need to outline her flower, you think? I feel like no. Let me know if I should outline the flower petals with like a black. They're not fuzzy ears, they're her earrings. And then we can also give her some, I feel like I'm going to definitely give her some ears, some ears, some earrings alongside. This is weird. So last week, two weekends ago, we went to a murder mystery, full costume murder mystery dinner. And I bedazzled, I made a specter and I, a scepter, sorry. That was not even a word that I just said. All right, I'm going to give her some of those too. 
Okay. I don't think if I outline in yellow, it's not going to show up. The outline is too, oh, it's too transparent. It won't, it won't show up to that. All right. I'm giving her some earrings like down the side of her ear. Oh, that was a really big one. I actually meant to like do some small ones. Whoops. So yeah, I this is the second time in two weeks that I've had a need to pull out my, I can't get that off ever, <laughs> pull out my bedazzle kit. Ooh, look, and I have green. I have all the colors. I just love that, like, I even have the possibilities. It's the best way in the whole world to spend a day, you guys. Thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. Do a yellow. My bedazzles are like the legit same colors as her hair. Just put on all, all of those. She's so cool like that. How's she looking? Oh. You know what might be neat about her around her flower eye? Instead of doing solid line, maybe if I just do some dots, like dots of black around it. I think I'm gonna try that. I know I was thinking nose stud. I was also thinking that I kind of want to get a nose ring. Kind of like been feeling that lately. Sean's like, stop losing your mind. Like this one, we're gonna have some smaller ones. I know I was thinking about putting jewels around her eye. I don't know that I can because her eyes are actually really like contoured. There's actually a lot of going on around her eye. <laughs> so I actually don't know that I can because I don't know that these will have enough surface to stick on. All right, so that, oh, I like that side better than that side. I should have put the little one on the top, but I started with a big one. And she already has sparkles everywhere. I guess we could, we could put a tiny one like on each petal. Technically, that would maybe do that. Like around the petal. <laughs> Oh, get a temporary nose ring. I think like, I don't know that you could get a temporary nose ring. I didn't know that was even a thing. We could do that. We could do something like this. Does that look good? Oh, no. Okay. I'm getting the no. I think it might be too much. She already is sparkly. Although I don't hate it. This one would be really awkward though. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's emptier out. I don't know if this, I don't know if her nose is big enough to handle a nose stud. Like that. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I'll do one. Oh, she's still a little, st <laughs> she's a little sticky still. Okay, hold on. What if we did like a, We did a pink one. Everyone wants her to have a nose stud. Okay. How uh, is pink good? Oh, did you like the green better? What color? All right, I'll definitely give her a nose stud. What color though? I think it's too much pink on her face right now. Should we do the green? Could give her blue. She doesn't have blue anywhere. It would just be her nose. No, that doesn't work. She's falling into her eye pockets. All right. Oh, you know what? You know what I have? I have also have clear. Maybe we can do that when we get some. Because I also have a whole box of these ones. <laughs> Yellow. I'm getting, I think maybe we do a clear one for the nose. I have little ones. You guys, I have everything. Let's just be honest. Oh. Hmm. I know, right? I do like the clear. I think I'm going to do the clear. It makes her like weirdly human. I know I can't. I, these are too big for her eye. I need like what the size, the super small ones, which I don't have. Actually, I don't wanna, this one is smaller. This one is smaller. Okay, I'm going to do this one. The only hard part is I don't, I need like tweezers. They keep escaping me. This one is super small. 
I have to do the other side of the nose. <laughs> what difference does it make? <laughs> oh, because the flower is there. How do you know which side looks better? I can't even get it to stick there. I don't know. I kind of like it on the flower side for some reason. Like that. Is that good? Balance. Other side. Okay. Getting yelled at. Okay. I'll put it here. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, shit. We're going to have a big. Now I have a big, messy glue blob all over her face. Awesome. Oh, shit. Okay. Get the strings off. All right, friends. There's more glue than nose ring on there, but I do think, all right, that looks amazing. See, now I want one because it's like just perfect and tiny. Just like it. Oh my God. All my like foam head dreams came true today. She looks amazing. I think that was so stupid fun. That was a stupid amount of fun. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculously fun? So fun. Shayna. So now she can join the other girls and she has a completely, completely distinct look. Yeah, she really, and she's all sparkly. I'm glad that the it picked up the sparkles. All right, so who is gonna do one that if they didn't do one yet is gonna do one, do one now? Let me know. We're waiting to hear from you. <laughs> Her name is um, Shayla. Shayna? I can't remember what I said. I think it's Shayla. <laughs> Tracy's in. Awesome. All right. Sunshine Inc. is in. I really, it's literally like the best way to spend a day. <laughs> oh, good. Joanne's working on her hair. Cheryl's going to do one. I know. Definitely. Willow's Oakland's going to do one. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, do two for Halloween. I know, right? Oh, good. Patty's going to do one. Yeah, just got back from camping and she's pooped. I hear ya. I actually have to go to Michael's and buy a frame after this. Oh, that's so funny. As just as I was saying that, I then went and looked at Robin who said, I just need to go to Michael's. Yeah, they have good ones. You know, they have men foam heads too. And I've never done a man one. I really need to do one at some point. But the man foam head has kind of like weird, like things going on here. But I do know at some point I will totally do one. Oh, good, Maria. Okay, don't forget, if, when you do one, you have to post in the Facebook group so I can see. I'm dying to see. Yes. Um, so this is already recorded. It lives right on my Facebook page. So you can actually rewatch it now or anytime. Just come visit my page and you can watch it there. I'm also going to edit it and then upload it to my Mixed Media YouTube channel. I think it will come out on Wednesday. So... You just dug your nail into your face. Fill it in with Mod Podge. Just fill it, fill it in with Mod Podge. Just it'll fill the hole. That's what the Mod Podge really is best purpose for. It fill it like fills in all the holes. Um, it's not hashtag after fart. Do fart along. That will enter you to win my actual monthly giveaway. Oh, good. Awesome, awesome. Oh my god, you guys in the face tattoos. So funny. All right, well, that is my foam head activity. I my cup is so full, you guys. <laughs> I I this was like the best day of my whole life. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making a completely ridiculous project. Totally ridiculous and 100% fun. So, so 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 fun. Oh, good. Yeah, they, I know this one has a smashed nose, too, but I, I still like her. It, she still works. She worked it out. Um, you're so welcome, you guys. Um, all right. I am really going to be looking forward to your posts in the Facebook group. I, like, cannot wait. Oh, did the classes stay on? I know. I have to put her on. They should. They stayed on before. They should definitely stay on now. Do, 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 do. I can't look at her. She's probably, I probably need to wait till she's really, really dry. There she is. <laughs> now it magnifies her eyes also. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 
That was the funnest thing in the whole world. Thank you guys for making my day and showing up and hanging out with me for so long. We did almost three hours of crafting together. I loved every single second of it. You guys are the best. I will see you soon and um, have a great, great yesterday. And if anybody wants the PDF that I was working from today, it's up in this post right now. It's a link. You can click on it and you can get to both of my hamburger PDFs so you can follow along at home without me. Okay. Bye, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Thank you so much.